I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I wish I had a snack or something to drink or something, but I don't. So hopefully we just get this moving really fast then. Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan, nice to meet you. I like lots of bands and in particular, since this video is about five seconds of summer, I like five seconds of summer. I recently saw them in concert April 18th to be exact, which was last Wednesday in Nashville, Tennessee. If you did not see the vlog from that concert, I will link it down below the very first link in the description box and I'll also link it up here somewhere. So much happened in that vlog so you should go watch that or watch this first and then go watch that because they kind of go together. But yes, if you have not seen my face before then make sure to go hit that subscribe button down below. I post new videos every single Sunday and random videos throughout the week. Quick little shout out for my hoodie. It was sent to me. The brand is called Faith Over Fame. It basically just kind of symbolizes that you should always put your faith first, no matter how like famous you get. Not that I'm famous, but like I just love the meaning and message behind it. So, yes, thanks for the hoodie. If you want one, I'll put the link down below. It's super comfortable. I'm obsessed. It just has like a double F on it, and then on the back it says Faith Over Fame. Let's just get into the story time. So to start out with, I went with my friend Faith. She lives like an hour, hour and a half away from me, so I went to pick her up on Tuesday night. We got back to Nashville around like 6 or 6.30 or so, and I was like, hey Faith, like let's stop by the venue and see if there's any girls there yet. So we stopped by the venue, and there's already like 25 to 30 girls outside the venue that we're all planning on camping out. And when they very first announced this tour, me and Faith thought about camping out, but we called the venue and they said that we couldn't. Um, but of course the venue's gonna say that because they don't wanna be reliable or responsible for the girls sleeping outside the venue. So all these girls were camped out like on the other side of the street by the venue, so it technically wasn't the venue's property. And I was like, wait, like Faith, let's totally just camp out here with these girls. Like the first couple of girls that were in line had this like number and wristband system going. Basically when you got there, they gave you a wristband with a number on it, and then they also wrote a number on your hand. Faith was number like 35, I think, and then I was number 36. Right when we got there, I realized that I still needed to shower and get ready and print off our tickets and get food and stuff. So with the wristband and number, you were allowed to leave the line and come back, and like that kind of like saved your spot in line. They were nice enough to let you leave and go get food or like leave for the meet and greet that we had the next day because we were supposed to meet them the next day. So around like 6.30, I dropped Faith off. She stayed in line with a lot of her friends and people she knew there and I went back to my house Showered got ready got us food. I literally got us like 50 chicken nuggets from Wendy's You probably saw that in the vlog. They were really good And then I printed off our tickets and got us like pillows and blankets snacks anything We would need overnight camping outside of a venue. It's so crazy I literally slept on the sidewalk for five seconds of summer So I got back to the venue at like 8 or 8 30 and that's when we were there for the night Basically a lot of girls brought like different card games and uno and snacks and all this stuff. It was so much fun listening to music. They played Harry, One Direction, Nile, Black Bear, Five Sauce, and it was just like a fun time. Like it was like a fangirl sleepover outside waiting for the concert to happen. Like it was just great. Like I would totally recommend. So like I said, we were still across the street from the venue and for some reason people decided at 2 a.m. when I was almost asleep to move the line to the other side of the street. So now we're like closer to the venue and this is where the line for the concert was going to start. I guess they moved the line like that because they didn't want people to show up early in the morning when we were all still sleeping and like line up on the other side when we were still on the other side if that makes sense at all. We had to move all of our blankets and pillows and all of our crap to the other side which is a lot of work at 2 a.m. but like we did it. And then at this point I fell asleep. I don't think Faith or anyone else really fell asleep. They might have gotten a couple hours of sleep but I fell asleep around like 2.30 ish or something and then I woke up at like 8 or 8.30 in the morning. So I was surprised that I got a decent amount of sleep but I love sleep so at the same time I wasn't surprised. So I was one of the last people to wake up. Everyone else was already like up and just like chilling, talking, getting ready. Some of the girls were already getting ready and like doing their makeup and everything, but I didn't want to get ready. I was just kind of like chilling and like being lazy and just like, mm -hmm, what up? And I was also kind of freaking out because it was like the actual day of the concert and like, uh what? I think around like 11 or 11.30 I went back to my car to get ready. That's what Faith did also. She like got ready in my car. I literally parked like right across the street from the venue. And then at like 1 o'clock is when we left to go to the radio station to meet the boys. <laughs> ah! This is just where like I just... I. 
I don't think this is real like to this day I don't think this is real the meet-and-greet didn't start until like 2 45 But we just like wanted to be early and we got McDonald's on the way and stuff You know we also wanted to see them like get there and like pull up to the radio station Which we did well we only saw Luke walk in and he like waved he was so cute <sighs> me and Faith were both wearing black and white. I had like a black skirt on and a black and white like checkered tank top and then Faith had on a black shirt, black shorts and then like a white like baseball style jersey on top. So we're rocking the neutral colors, you know? And we're like thinking like, oh my gosh, like what if they're all wearing black and white as well? Like we're all like matching for the picture. That'd be so cute. And turns out they were, so mm -hmm. and we ended up being like the 6th, 7th, or 8th person in line. They divided everyone up into four groups so they let like one group in at a time into the room that they were gonna like sing and everything in. So me and Faith were towards the end of the first group the way the room was set up was there like rows of chairs and then there was like four chairs for them to sit in and all their like instruments and stuff were set up me and faith ended up being in the first row of chairs and by the way faith won this meet and greet i've won meet and greets for us in the past like i brought her with me to meet nile so i guess this was her way of paying me back to like bring me with her to meet five sauce so thanks girl I love you. There was like, I guess, eight chairs in the front row. I guess we were numbers six and seven. Literally where the camera is right now, there was a chair that distance in front of me. Like, there were so freaking close. My favorite is Ashton, if you didn't already know that. So I was trying to figure out which seat Ashton would be sitting in, and I was hoping that it would be like the seat right in front of me. All the chairs had microphones, and then the chair in front of me had a microphone that was like right here. And I was like, okay, if that microphone is for like to be on a guitar to hear a guitar better, then like three out of the four chairs would have that microphone right there. But there was only one microphone that was like, not to like sing out of, but to like hear something that they're playing, if that makes sense. And then I was like, wait, Ashton has like a little like Morocco like thing that he shakes or he like snaps sometimes. I was like, that has to be Ashton's chair. And sure enough, 20 minutes later, they finally walk into this room. First of all, whoa. Whoa, whoa, they're so beautiful in person. I've never seen them that close up before. I've never met them. I've never like, oh, I've never experienced something like this with them before. And Ashton is sitting right in front of me. The entire time they were singing and talking, my jaw was just like, there were random times when I would make eye contact with Ashton and realize that I was staring at him too long. So I would stare at the rest of the guys and then come back to Ashton because he was just right there in front of me. Also, Ashton was wearing Doc Martens, which I recently got a pair of Doc Martens a couple months ago, and I love them to death. So now every time I wear them, I just think of Ashton because he was wearing them also, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm matching with a king. <laughs> what do they sing? They sing Amnesia and Want You Back, and then like in between the songs, they answered like fan questions and stuff. They also took away our phones and jackets and bags and everything before we went in there, so we couldn't film anything, which kind of sucked, but like... <laughs> whatever. After that, they left the room and then they lined us up to go into another room to meet them and they literally said no hugs, no selfies, no nothing. That they would have a photographer there for us to take the picture and that's it. So literally they were saying you go in, take a picture and leave. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather have a hug than a picture. So the way they were standing it was Ashton, Luke, Callum, and then Michael. I mainly wanted to be by Ashton and then my friend Faith mainly wanted to be by Luke. I ended up standing in between Ashton and Luke and then she stood in front of Luke and Callum. I remember I put my hand around Ashton. I was like, hi. He was like, it's so nice to meet you. And as we were taking the picture, I was like rubbing Ashton's back. He starts rubbing my back. And then after the picture was taken, I was like, thank you so much, Ashton. I wanted the 10 seconds that I did have with them to be more with Ashton because he's my fave. And the whole entire time, Ashton was rubbing my back and he said it was so nice to meet me. That's about it. So after that, me and Faith left and we went back to the line at the venue. At this point, it was like around four o'clock or so and the doors opened at seven o'clock. So we waited like three more hours and they finally opened the doors and as we were waiting was when they released our meet and greet pictures. Yeah, so if you've not seen it yet, here is our meet and greet picture. Um, you should follow me on Instagram because I posted it on there, but if you haven't, here it is. <laughs> I literally didn't realize until I saw the picture that Luke never put his arm around me, and I don't know what I ever did to deserve Luke Hemmings not putting his arm around me, but I think it's funny. I just, I wish he put his arm around me, but like, <clears throat> the doors opened at 7, so we got in at 7, and me and Faith ended up being like second or third row, which was not bad at all. We were pretty close. It was supposed to start at 8 o'clock, but for some reason they didn't even come out on stage until like 8.45. 
life. Like, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, but from the second they came out on stage to the second they got off stage, I was pushed and shoved more than you can imagine. Like, it was so bad. Everyone in the crowd was so, so, so rude. I was just pushed and shoved left and right. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. And sweating so much. Like, I was, it was so gross how much I was sweating. But don't get me wrong, like, Five Sauce were so good. There was moments when I was like, oh my god, I need to leave. Like, I can't do this anymore. But at the same time, like, I looked right in front of me and I was like, okay, Five Sauce are on the stage. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna wish I could be back in this spot being pushed and shoved again because as bad as it was, it was still worth it, you know? The concert ended and as soon as it ended, things went downhill. As soon as it ended, Faith started having trouble breathing. She was really hot and we needed to get out of the venue. She was like freaking out and at this point I was freaking out for her. We're making our way to the venue but for some reason people aren't wanting to leave. They're still like crowding the stage and everything so it was really hard for us to get out. We get like kind of close to the door and Faith is like, I'm gonna pass out. I have to sit down and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, trying to like fan her. She finally stands up again and she's like, okay, I need to get outside. So I'm literally like pushing people out of the way. I'm like, she's about to pass out guys, we need to get out of the way. We get even closer to the door and again, she sits down because she cannot, I don't know, she's having trouble breathing. She's saying it's hurting to breathe. Also during the concert, a couple girls passed out and they had to just lift them over the barricade. Like it was so bad. I've never seen like that many girls like pass out before. This mom or older lady sees her and is trying to help her and ends up calling 911 for her. She just kept on getting worse and it was freaking me out. She was breathing so fast. She said it hurt to breathe. She kept on saying she felt like she was gonna pass out. The EMS people get there and they carry her outside. She's almost like she's literally on the verge of passing out right now. And then they bring her into the ambulance. They slow down her breathing and they ended up releasing her. It was super scary. Thankfully, nothing actually like really, really bad happened. There was a total of five ambulances there. Not like because of Five Sauce, but because of the crowd and everything. It was the worst concert I have ever been to. After that, I took Faith home because her mom wanted her home and I totally understand that after everything that happened. That's about it for my Five Sauce concert experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions about the day or meeting them or anything, then comment them down below. Oh, I also got um, Ashton's water bottle. I didn't even mention that. It's in my car it's like just a little mini water bottle part of me thinks it's weird and part of me thinks it's kind of cool but that's about it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye i never said goodbye that was so weird bye <laughs>